Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outtoos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to send invoice by email. Before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So you might be wondering, how do you send invoice via email? So especially, you might be uh, confused on how to start sending invoices, especially if you're a new business owner, uh, you're looking for ways to send invoices. Well, in this case, we could actually use Canva, which is a free tool that you, you, you could use online, as well as Gmail, which is a basic thing that you could create uh, from anywhere. In this case, you could either use Gmail, Yahoo, so whatever method that you are, uh, whatever email that you want to use, you could go ahead and do that. But the steps here are going to be the same thing or fundamentally the same thing. So first things first is we need to go to canva.com and log in into our account. So in this case, if you haven't created your account yet or you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and click on the top right here and you should be able to basically create your, your account here. So you can even use your Google account if you already have that. In this case, what we need to do is we need to go to templates. So let's go ahead and click on templates at the left panel here. And from here, we need to go to the left panel and we need to open up the business option here. Now under business, just scroll down a bit until you see invoices and you should be able to see a different invoice format that we could actually use. Now, it's really important that you choose an invoice template here that is actually for free. Now, in this case, if you see a crown or a pro tag on that specific template, it means you need to have the pro version for you to start using it. But again, you need to have the uh, free version here. So for example, maybe I want to use this invoice here. It's pretty simple and it's direct to the point. So let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, click on customize this template and this should open up a new tab, which in this case, you'll be able to start editing your invoice. Now editing via Canva here is actually pretty easy. So what we need to do is we need to just basically change the details that we see here. So for example, for the build to, you could go ahead and just basically uh, provide the uh, build to uh, um, option here. So maybe I want to say the following uh, customer is going to be uh, Jennifer Smith. And from here, the paid to is going to be the address that you indicate here. So for example, I'm going to say this is going to be my company. And from here, uh, we want to provide the address itself. So you could just go double click on it. As you can see, you will be able to highlight it and just provide your address. So when, uh, let's go ahead and provide our address. So this is an example. So I want to say on to three address street. And from here, we also have the bank details as well. So you have the bank, the account name, the BSB account number. You could basically replace all of the necessary details here. In this case, uh, what we need to do is we need to provide the items here. Like for example, someone actually just paid for two items and we have a lot of excess design here. So in this case, you could just basically select all the designs that you see here. So for example, I want to select this one, select it again, and select it again to remove it. In this case, you could actually utilize another way of deleting this one. So you could just basically drag and drop your mouse on the empty spaces here and just basically highlight what is not necessary here. So I want to delete this one and from here, we could just go ahead and provide the details here. So in this case, you could just provide the first item here, the rate for it and how many hours or the amount. So if you don't, if your business is not about uh, having hours or if you have like product specific type of uh, services here, you could just basically change this instead of rate, you could just basically add like R, uh, sorry, price itself said uh, I want to replace this with price just to give an example why don't you uh, I want to remove the R's here and from here maybe I want to say for this one is going to be $50 and the second one is going to be $500 now we want to change this one so maybe I want to say it is going to be a book double click on it just type in book and from here this is going to be uh, let's just say for example it's going to be a computer since it's around like $500. So let's just uh, replace this one, double click and add computer. Now, once you've done that, we need to add the amount here. So this is just around $50. So change this one to the correct price. And here, uh, this is going to be $500. So let's just go ahead and change this again. And from here, we need to add a total. So $500 plus $50 is going to be $550. So let's go ahead and add 550 here. And once you've done that, you could go ahead and replace the text that you see here, payment is required within 14 business days. So depending on your business, you could just uh, add notes that you want to indicate here. So if you if you want uh, want it paid within seven days, you can go ahead and indicate that as well in here. 
this case, once you've uh, done your uh, following changes that you need, so you could also change the invoice number here to make sure you change that. If you have like specific tracking for your invoice, you can go ahead and change that. But in this case, we want to save this one. So it's up right, let's go ahead and click on share here. And from here, we want to choose the download option. Now under download, what we need to do is we need to change this to PDF standard. And from here, let's go ahead and click on download. Now, once the download is complete, we could go ahead and start using it on our email. In this case, it's going to be in our uh, specific uh, location, which is going to be downloads. So let's go ahead and go back into our Gmail. Click on the compose at the top left here. Just type in the following. So just type in the uh, address of the person that you want to send this specific uh, invoice to. So for example, my company invoice number 123. And from here, you could go ahead and just say, hi, uh, Jennifer. So let's just go ahead and do that. And let's just say here is the invoice. So in this case, you could customize your email here, whatever may, uh, you like. So obviously, it is not the best one, but this is just a placeholder that you could use. So you could basically customize this one uh, as you would. This case maybe i want to add like for example i think you at the very end so let's go ahead and touch this one let's go ahead and open up the folder here and from here let's go ahead and drag our uh, pdf here so by the way i would recommend you to re rename your pdf file here so for example since uh, my company is going to be the name of it so let's just add the company name invoice number one two three and for jennifer once you've done that, we could now start sending this one. So in this case, just to double click, uh, just to make sure, let's go ahead and double click on this one and view if everything is in order. So as you can see, it's correct. So let's go ahead and change this one and attach it to our email. And from here, once it's uploaded, we could go ahead and just click on send. And that would actually send our invoice. In this case, uh, just to make sure, I would recommend you to go to send here to view if it's actually sent. As you can see, it's not sent. And yeah, so that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.